Welcome to a lesson on literal equations. Let's first answer the question, what are literal equations? Literal equations are equations that contain more than one variable. And here are three examples of literal equations. Here we have the volume formula for a cylinder. Here we have the simple interest formula. And here we have the area formula for a triangle. Notice all these equations contain more than one variable and therefore they're considered literal equations. Next, what does it mean to solve a literal equation? To solve a literal equation means to isolate the indicated variable on one side of the equation. When we do this though, unlike the previous equations we've been solving, the solution will be equal to an expression containing other variables, not a numerical value. Example one, we're asked to solve for b in each of the following equations. On the left, we have linear equations in one variable. On the right, we have literal equations. In each of these six equations, we want to solve for b, meaning we want to isolate b on one side of the equation. So let's look at this first equation here, 2b equals 8. 2b means 2 times b. So to isolate b on the left side of the equation, we're going to undo this multiplication by dividing both sides by 2. Notice on the left, two divided by two simplifies to one. One times b equals b. So we have b equals eight divided by two is equal to four. Now here we have a b equals c. Our goal here is to solve the equation for b. So we don't want this a here, but a times b means a times b. So to undo this multiplication and solve for b, we want to divide both sides of the equation by a just like in this example, we divided both sides by two. So we'll divide the left side by a, and we divide the right side by a. On the left side, a divided by a simplifies to one. One times b is b. So here we have b equals c divided by a. This is the solution to our literal equation, and notice how here b is equal to an expression containing other variables. But our technique for solving these first two equations was exactly the same. Next we have five plus b equals nine. Again, our goal here is to isolate b on the left side of the equation, so we don't want this five here. So to undo this positive five, we'll subtract five on both sides of the equation. Simplifying, five minus five is equal to zero. So on the left we just have b. On the right we have nine minus five, which equals four. Our solution is b equals four. Here we have a plus b equals c. This is a literal equation, but again our goal here is to solve for b, so we don't want this a here. So to undo this a and isolate b, we'll subtract a on both sides of the equation, just like we subtracted five on both sides of this equation. Simplifying, a minus a equals zero. So on the left side we have b equals, on the right side, these are not like terms, so our solution is just b equals c minus a. This is our solution to the literal equation when we solve for b. Next we have 2b plus one equals 13. This is a basic two-step equation. So the first step is to isolate the variable term 2b by adding or subtracting. So to undo plus one, we'll subtract one on both sides of the equation. Simplify, one minus one is equal to zero. So now we have the equation two b equals 13 minus one equals 12. Two b means two times b. So to undo the multiplication and isolate b, we divide both sides by two. On the left side, two divided by two is equal to one. One times b is b. On the right side we have 12 divided by two, which equals six. So here our solution is b equals six. Here we have a b plus c equals d. Again, our goal here is to solve for b. So we'll first isolate the a b term by adding or subtracting. So we don't want this plus c here. So to undo plus c, we perform the opposite operation by subtracting c on both sides. Simplify, c minus c is equal to zero. So now we have the equation a, b equals, these are not like terms, so we have d minus c. 
AB means A times B, so to undo this multiplication and isolate B, we divide both sides by A. Simplifying A divided by A simplifies the one. One times B is B. On the right side, we just have the quantity D minus C divided by A, which is our solution for B, but this can also be expressed as two fractions because we're dividing by a monomial. We could write this as D divided by A minus C divided by A. Both of these expressions would be acceptable for our solution for B. Let's look at example two. We want to solve the following equation for C. We have four ABC equals 32. Let's rewrite this so we have some additional room. We have four ABC equals 32. Again, our goal here is to solve this equation for C. So we don't want the factors of four A and B on the left side. Well, four ABC means four times A times B times C. So to undo this multiplication and isolate C on the left side, we would divide both sides by four AB. Notice on the left side, we have four divided by four, which simplifies to one. We have A divided by A, which simplifies to one. And we have B divided by D, which simplifies to one. So the left side simplifies to C. And now on the right side, notice how this quotient does simplify. There's a common factor of four between 32 and four, or we can just say that 32 divided by four is equal to eight. But simplifying, we'd have one four and four and eight fours and 32. So C is equal to eight divided by one AB or just AB. Example three, we want to solve the following equation for B. We have A equals B plus C plus D. Again, let's rewrite this. We have A equals B plus C plus D. Again, our goal here is to isolate B. Since B is on the right side, we'll isolate B on the right side. So we don't want this plus C here. We also don't want this plus D here. So to isolate B and undo this addition, we'll subtract C on both sides. Let's also subtract D on both sides. So we'd have minus C minus D on both sides of the equation. Let's simplify the right side first. Notice C minus C is zero and D minus D is also zero. So on the right side, we now have just B. On the left side, these are not like terms. We have A minus C minus D equals B. Or we could also express the solution as B equals A minus C minus D. Either of these two are acceptable. I think we'll stop here and look at some more examples in part two. I hope you found this helpful.